So pros and cons, the case for and against Warholm here as Athlete of the Year. So, obviously, birthed the world record twice, as I mentioned, undefeated in four-meter hurdles. He ran some other races, too, so like 300-meter hurdles and a flat 400. You can throw those in there as well. But I'm mainly going to just focus on the four-meter hurdles. The mark was an all-time mark. Was a, was a mark so far beyond what we ever could have imagined was possible, even from him. That forty-five ninety-four, and the forty-five ninety-four is the strongest case for him. Case against would be that he only competed in five finals, and we talked about this when we discussed the women's athlete of the year. It's athlete of the year. It's not just race of the year or record of the year. So it's really tough competition. And you got to look at the whole body of work. So. I would say the main drawback for Warholm was that just he did not run in that many 400 meter hurdle finals. The, they were spectacular when he did, but that would be his only only drawback. If he was as busy as he was in previous seasons, uh, he would have a, an even stronger case. I agree. His pros obviously are exactly what we think they are. His his performances, his record, incredible. And that Olympic title over Rye, over Rye Benjamin. So it took mm-hmm. two world records to break the world record, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, I agree with you, the cons. Um, also, like, is it a con, his, when he showed up to do that flat 400 and he just jogged? And everyone's like, what can he run a flat 400 in? And then he just like, just half-assed his way through around the track. Will, will he get docked a point for <laughs> lack of effort in that post-Olympic 400 flat? To me, that race was only to add points. I wasn't going to take anything away because it was right off the Olympics too, and it's not his main event. But running 45-5 does not get you any new points. I'll just say that. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, that, that, that did not add anything to Warholm's case. Um, yeah, the, 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 you know, 45-94, it's still nuts to say that time out loud. And he had to beat, you're right, the second best man in history and the third best man in history. In that race, the competition was was stout, was stellar. So that's how I see the case for for Warholm. Another con for him is he's competing against himself a bit here, because you know the expectations were so high going in to the year. Because if you look at his 2020, he was one of the few athletes who really took a lot of shots in 2020, like really went for it, right? He ran the, the 4687 in in 2020. He ran a 4707, he ran a 4708. He put a lot of all-time marks on the board in 2020, which, you know, raised that expectation. Now he outdid it when he ran sub 46, um, but I think there was a little bit of that in play as well. 